Welcome to Earth Juice. Coming up this week, pubic lice, dolphins, and crocs on the loose. Sadly, many creatures are on the endangered list, and some are even threatened with extinction. But there is one creature whose demise looks increasingly likely, but this time the lack of a conservation programme is something to be celebrated. It's everyone's favourite obligate parasite, the pubic louse. Descended from Thyrus gorilli, or the gorilla louse, this little fellow made the jump from Hirsute apes to early humans about 3.3 million years ago. No, our ancestors weren't having sex with monkeys, they were eating them and sleeping in their beds. Anyway, however they got across, the lice thrived in the nether regions of our hairy ancestors, eventually evolving into Thyrus pubis, the pubic louse. While the lice themselves are not known to spread diseases, they do cause itchy skin, which can lead to further infections. <sighs> but thankfully, recent studies have shown that pubic lice are now in decline, and as more people adopt a trim, shaped, or even smooth appearance down below, the lice have nowhere to hide. And when the female pubic louse can't find a suitably hairy groin to lay her eggs in, she dies without reproducing. Australian doctors have recently revealed that no sheilas have been seen at Sydney Sexual Health Clinic with lice since 2008, and male infestations have also fallen by 80%. Now, while this might be an environmental disaster for the species, I can't see many people volunteering to help in its conservation. Thank you, Brazil. Dolphins are all over the news at the moment. In Hawaii, a dolphin got caught in some fishing line and actually sought the help of a diver to remove it. Kelo Lagos was leading a group of snorkelers when the dolphin approached and appeared to want help. The kindly diver then spent several minutes removing discarded line and a hook from the dolphin's left pectoral fin. Incredibly, the creature waited calmly before finally swimming off. Meanwhile, in the Azores, an archipelago in the North Atlantic, researchers discovered that a group of sperm whales have taken in a deformed bottlenose dolphin. Behavioural ecologist Alexander Wilson observed the dolphin for a period of eight days, watching while it nuzzled and rubbed against the whales. The dolphin, suffering from a spinal curve, was probably an outcast from its own group, or simply struggled to keep up, something it is able to do with a much slower swimming sperm whales. Finally, to a crocodile farm in South Africa, where 15,000 crocodiles have escaped after their keepers were forced to let them out. After recent heavy downpours, staff feared that surging floodwaters would destroy the property, so they opened gates to let the excess water gush out. However, the farm's aggressive Nile crocodiles also floated to freedom. With the crocs entering a nearby river, they quickly dispersed. One even turned up 70 miles away on a school playing field. While the keepers have thankfully made a huge effort to recapture the crocs, around 10,000 still remain at large. So to our South African friends, be careful out there. So that's this week's juice. To see our report on an elephant birth, click here. We hope you enjoy it. See you next time.